what's good josh boy ross back at again with another video so i'm going to check out they had to do it from the uh undertaker's podcast he's talking about the montreal screw job so if you guys got a chance to check out the mr mcmahon documentary they talked about the montreal screw job and the undertaker voiced his opinion on how he felt about it initially and his initial thoughts you know he said he felt bad for vince and then he said he also felt bad for bret hart but he also said that vince did what was best for business and there's a few people on social media that felt like you know the undertaker was a sellout and he thought you know people felt like he was lame for you know thinking that way when you know for Vin for the uh, mark himself he always followed vince in his ideas and you know he may not always agreed with him but he felt like vince knew what was best for business so we're gonna check this out and get a, a probably uh in-depth look into how he felt because this was actually filmed two months ago they dropped this two months ago but obviously you know mark has been feeling like this for a while so let's get an in-depth look into uh this whole situation i always i've, I've always said that i wish they had kind of yeah i, I always I've, I've always said that i wish they had kind of communicated to me a little better uh about the you know about the montreal deal um maybe we could have done something differently with me but yeah it is what it is so my question for that is um let's say the montreal screw job doesn't happen okay let's say uh, Brett goes over like he wanted to. Do you think Brett does the right thing the next day? And that's the com that's the the conversation. Brett initially wanted to make sure that he won, but he was gonna drop it the next day before he left. But we never got that opportunity. Uh, I, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I know, I know Brett was really he was he was better about it. Um, Brett didn't Brett didn't want to leave. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was just a it was a money deal. And yeah, he'd been you know he'd been a loyal soldier man. Um, so I, I, there were so many feelings. Uh, everybody was was just tapped out on, on the whole thing I, I, I and brett did say that he's like bro i gave my life to vince i i was loyal i did everything vince asked me to even when i didn't want to and for him it was just one of those things where it's like damn I, I do this for you you know the money side could have definitely be a part of it not getting as much as he would you know think she deserved of course wcw ted turner they were dishing out money like it was candy so it's like hey let me do this whatever i'm not trying to put him over i don't even really like this guy but i'll put him over the next night or whatever the case and it's just like nah we're not doing that i don't know man i don't yeah. know that it's you walk out i, I don't know maybe he would have but it does, you can't take that chance. You, you one, you cannot absolutely zero away. Can you take the chance? I, I'm, I'm, I will say that he probably would have. I'm going to say he probably would have gone on TV and and dropped it, mm -hmm. not dropped it, but give it away yeah. or give it up or vacate it, whatever the whatever the word is I'm looking for. But that doesn't do us any good. Yeah, we 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 can't have a guy vacate the title and then is going to the other show and you know it, it just doesn't work that you guys are in the middle of a yeah. heated battle and that's a fair point that he makes because say they don't go with that route brett still retains whatever and then he vacates the title and then you see him next week on wcw then it in the fans perspective it was like damn he just vacated the title to go to another company. He didn't need it. It comes off like the title didn't mean much because he just vacated it. I want it. I retained it, whatever. Hey, I'm going to leave it with you guys. I'm going on the greener pastures. So I get from that standpoint, optically, it still looks bad. If you lose and go into another company, you can work with that. 
But if you win, retain, vacate the title, then go to another company, it can it can give the idea like, oh well, WWE is the lesser, lesser company anyway. I just gave up the belt. I'm on the greener pastures. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I mean it's our competition. Um, so you can't let him vacate the title and then go to the to the to the competition, regardless if he didn't want to go or not. He was still going, and that's you know that's kind of all part of the the whole unfortunate part of the thing. Um, but as mad as I was about it, uh, you know about the screw job. It, at the end of the day, I don't know that there, there was any at that point that there was any choice. Yeah, they had to do it, and that sucks because you know I'm, I, I'm, you know I consider Brett a really good friend, and you hate for something like that to happen. Um, but I, but I know Brett wanted to I, Brett wanted to stay, and it's just you know it's just one of them, those situations. It's really unfortunate. Um, Really unfortunate situations, but and I think what sucks too is with Brett and Sean is the fact that for them to both have the stellar careers that they've had, that's the one question that they probably get more than any other question since it's happened. You know, they oh, probably yeah. get asked about the Montreal Screwjob more than anything else. Probably, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got two guys that you know. Like I said earlier, I consider when it comes to in ring, I don't, you know, it's hard to it's hard to find two better. It's hard to convince me that there's anybody better than yeah. those two, and that's kind of what everybody talks about when it comes to those two. And yeah, that, that's a shame because yeah. they were both said they had like you did you said they both had great such stellar careers, <laughs> phenomenal careers, and you get asked about one like a political hit job. It's something that deal. both of them aren't very proud of they're no, not proud. Why would that wasn't be? their best moment no <laughs> why would you be proud of that yeah. right you, yeah that's it that, that sucked man it, it's it, i guess it's great for the marks to, to talk and argue yeah. about that's the only good <laughs> thing i guess i don't know but for I, you know, I feel bad for sean and and brett i mean i'm friends with both of them yeah. I, I think the world of both of those guys and you know i'm glad everybody's kind of in a different spot now and yeah but uh, it really sucked that that had to happen. And it sucks, too, because Brett left WWE, goes over to WCW, and you could see on night one, he wasn't, he didn't want to be there. Yeah, I and mean, it, it, that may be that, uh, you know, if he doesn't get hurt, you never know what happens. Yeah. But, you're, yeah, when your heart's not in something like that, it's, yeah. it, it's tough, man. I think he, you know, he goes over there, and I think that just looking back on it, you've got a guy that's such a professional. And, I mean, just the stories I've heard of WCW during that time, maybe the <laughs> professionalism wasn't quite there. <laughs> and yeah. I think that was another thing that, I mean, it, it was he probably got there and went, oh, geez, this is a freaking circus. Yeah. And was, like, even more frustrated at that point. Yeah. Like, I'm better than this. I... And and it just seemed like there was just a lot of frustrations. Oh yeah, you know that I mean, were built could, up on him. How could there not be? Yeah, I mean, for, I'm sure for like for Brad. I mean, it had to be like it was like during the he was on the on the Patriots dynasty team, and then he got, <laughs> he got traded to Washington, right? Yeah, I mean it's just, it's like oh crap. And then I just think about how many great matches did we miss out on with him mm. and Sean post. Montreal, right? Yeah. Like, because um, could you imagine this? Let's say Montreal Screwdrop does happen, but Brett's not leaving, and that could you could you have written a better? That would have been a good story, bro. Than that for it to be that would have been something a, to. Oh man, that would have been a fire story line. You want to talk about money? That it, uh, it would have been. Yeah, Vince would have been the uh, anti. Yeah. Before Austin. Yeah. Right? The whole I mean, this is, a, yeah. this is a Bret Hart. If you really think about it, like like he just said, if they really would have turned that into some money, if they could have really make some, made some things work, bruh, Vince became the number one heel after that because people knew what happened. It would have been, you know, he would have been in that situation where, you know, 
Vin, you know, Brett would have been the ultimate baby face again, for real. And going against Vince and now Sean. But things work out the way they did because we don't know if that happens, what happens with Stone Cold. You know, so things work out the way, you know, they intended to, even though it's kind of unfortunate. But it's just just the thought of that. If it doesn't play out that way, will we have the Stone Cold career that we, you know, we, you know, remember now? Austin or, or Bret Hart and Vince McMahon's. Uh, yeah, it, it. I guess everything happens for a reason. But yeah, man, it, it just sucked for. Yeah, you know. But that what a storyline that would that would have been. been a great, that been story. an awesome storyline. <laughs> I mean, but like, it was real. Yeah, like, yeah, it was real. What 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 happened in reality? Uh, it's almost where if the pride could have been swallowed at that point, uh, in hindsight, Vince probably should have. Ran down that hallway and been like, "How much money you want? Yeah, <laughs> let's let's run this back. Let's keep let's do this. And, yeah, uh, how let's much money you a want? Ton of money. Um, but yeah, if he would have did that, I don't know if Brent would have did it. I'm like, you know what? If Vince would have just really did that, I don't know if he would have agreed. How much money you want? I don't know if it would have worked out that way. Maybe he still would have got socked in the face." And then they could have discussed some money, but I'm knowing Vince, he could have got a black eye and everything. And if he's like, all right, let's make some money out of this. How much you paying me? But once again, at that point, Brett was fucking pissed. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill Vince. I, you know, you've talked about it before, working with smaller guys and stuff. I think um, what you and Brett Hart were able to do in the ring was was pretty dang special and it doesn't get talked about as much right. as it should and, and I, I don't talk about it and i don't i really don't why I, I guess there's just so you know so many the same type questions but uh, i'm man i i grew i grew as a talent um working with with brett because he pushed me to limits that i didn't know that i had or or that i needed to get to to make that character continue to grow yeah. and, I, and i owe a lot of that to brett were you and him similar in the sense of like i feel like you took you you, you take professional wrestling very serious mm -hmm. were y'all very were y'all the same in that where yeah. it was like i expect everyone in this locker room yeah to go out there and give it the same effort i'm Absolutely. giving whether you're the you're you're wrestling the dark match or whether you're in the main event you're everyone's going to give the same effort and if you if you don't want to give that effort you shouldn't be in this locker room. yeah no absolutely 100 percent. he was that guy too yeah oh yeah absolutely and if you guys remember from the mr man documentary when they talked about the whole uh curtain call situation with the click the members of the click all after a match all hugging each other because scott hall and kevin ash was going to wcw at the time if you remember, they, you know, interviewed other wrestlers in the dock who, you know, how they felt about it. The Undertaker, Mark Calloway, was one of the people that he's like, I didn't like it because it peeled back the curtain of professional wrestling. And the other person that was like that was Bret Hart. He said that day wrestling died. They both agree that they didn't like the idea of them pulling back the curtain like that the undertaker and bret hart so this point kind of makes sense i can see both of them having that same mindset they cared about the business so much they cared about professional wrestling so much that they have some common alliance some common agreement with how they view the wrestling business so it's funny that he brought that up yeah, and he took a lot of pride in being a professional wrestler, as as did I. And you know, we burnt the we 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 burnt the midnight oil, but it was never allowed as an excuse for the next day. Yeah, yeah, we can go out and we can have fun, and we did. We partied hard, but man, don't don't let it affect tomorrow because <laughs> you're going to get more heat than you you that you want. Yeah, um, so. But that was just that's just the way it was then, and everybody, you know, everybody. No, nah, I shouldn't say everybody, but <laughs> you, you knew what was expected of you. Yeah, and he he set that example. I mean, because he was out too, and and, and I same way. Like I was out every night, and the crew, my crew, was out every night. Everybody had to work hard. That was just that was just it. And if you if you got if you were dogging it, 
you might have, you know what's coming when you come back through the curtain you knew what was coming so um you just had to you had to weigh it out like okay can, can i can i run can i can i stay out all night and can, yeah. I, can I give my my, my best effort <laughs> in, at tomorrow and most guys learned how to do it so yeah well i loved uh i loved watching brett wrestle and i can only imagine what it was like to be in the ring with a guy like yeah him, so this is like everything made sense everything it, there was not really anything that brett did that didn't make sense you know you'll watch some certain things sometimes and you'll go eh, what? i don't really get what that was everything that brett did was setting up the next thing that brett was going to do there's purpose behind everything yeah there was mm -hmm. a purpose behind everything every punch thrown every kick thrown that's just next level, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's just, yeah, it's it's the art of what it is that we truly do. Yeah. Uh, and I say it all the time. People get tired of hearing it. But, you know, we, we at the core, at our core, what we do is story tell. Yeah. The wrestling is not about wrestling moves. It's the story. It's about telling a story. a story. And we use wrestling moves to help tell the story. Okay, there you go. And that's that's how uh, even in the McMahon documentary, that's how Brett viewed it. He's like, it's art, the art of storytelling, and the same thing here. So it's it's very interesting to see, you know, his perspective on it, and you kind of understand from the business point. I know some people are like, oh no, nah, he's a Vince McMahon suck up. No, I wouldn't say that. Of course, he has his loyalty to Vince in that regard, but also you got to take in consideration once again this has been a you know obviously they've had talks and you know brent felt a certain way vince felt a certain way and brent vince was just looking out what was best for his company and brent was like no i you know he's more so looking out for himself and how he wanted to go out so y'all comment down below let me know i want to get y'all opinion do y'all agree with what the undertaker said and that it was the, the you know the right thing for them to do what vince had did like that was the best option they could come up with or do you disagree and you felt like there could have been another way <clears throat> to potentially solve this issue without what happened at uh in, in montreal y'all let me know do y'all agree with uh the undertaker or do y'all disagree with him on the montreal montreal screw job but i appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you next one peace